Welcome to Florida Newsmakers. I'm Tramel Gomes with our very special guest, Gwen Graham, candidate for Congressional District 2. Welcome to the program. Oh, thank you, Tramel. Happy so to be here. Oh, so glad <laughs> to have you here. Um, we just had your opponent on the program, Congressman Steve Sutherland, and we're doing these candidate interviews to give our viewers an opportunity to get to know who's running for office. So with that, let's jump right into it. What led you to decide to run um, to hopefully take over the seat from Steve Sutherland? Well, uh, after the last election, I did some real soul searching and realized that I had experienced a, a such a wide variety of personal and professional opportunities that made me uniquely ready to serve, uh, particularly the last six years of my life where I've served in the school district as, a, as someone who brought people together who often started from very, very different positions and found a way to found, find good common sense solutions and compromises that were fair to all. And I think that's obviously something that Congress could benefit from. What do you attribute to your early success? Looking at the polls, you're quite the formidable candidate. You're ahead um, you. <laughs> with numbers um, from fundraising to even just popularity. So what's, what's, what do you link to your success? Well, I've been in this race since April 2nd, 2013, and I have loved every day. Uh, I love meeting people. I love talking with people. I love uh, just, just having the opportunity to hear what's going on in everyone's lives. I'm, I'm doing work days I, uh, that have been just phenomenal. I've done work days uh, uh, out uh, at a health care, at, at a Head Start program. I did a work day on a peanut farm. I did a work day on a food truck, which was just phenomenal because I uh, had an opportunity to, to learn about what small businesses are dealing with. And it's just the connection I feel with people that I think has, has brought us to this point today. And, uh, I, I look forward to now the next phase and having the opportunity to serve the people of this district and serve all the people, all 14 counties. What really differentiates you from Congressman Steve Sutherland? You know, I've had an opportunity to be with Congressman Sutherland, and you know, I think that um, you know he, he's a good family man. Uh, I just think my my desire is to work together with everyone. My desire, I don't care whether someone's a Democrat or Republican or Independent. I want to find common sense solutions to the challenges that our, our district faces. And I think that's what differentiates me the most. Uh, Congressman Sutherland has voted with his party, I believe, over 95% of the time. Uh, and I don't think either party is right uh, that uh, significant percentage of the time. We need to find some common ground uh, between the different groups in Congress so that we can start doing the right thing for the people here in the 2nd Congressional District. How do you plan to bring this effort together and really work with people like, you know, the conservative leadership that are in place right now on the issues that you want to get in front? Well, by what I do every day. I am very much a people person. Uh, I uh, reach out to folks and I find a way to break through maybe what initially someone might think they don't have anything in common with me or, or necessarily might not find that uh, we have issues that we share, but at the end of the day, we're all human. And I think we all want to do the best for the people that we represent. Uh, and I think, unfortunately, the dynamics and the energy and the negativism in Congress today is really what's holding our country back. And I'm going to bring a positive force to Congress, and I'm going to be someone that, that is willing to work with anyone who has good ideas to start doing the right thing and moving our country forward again. That's what I hear. People ask me, what do you hear most consistently? What I hear most consistently is how sick and tired people are with having a Congress that's not doing anything. I mean, this is the least productive Congress in over 60 years. That's just wrong. We need to have people who want to go to Washington and who want to find uh, an ability to work together with others in the Congress to make a difference in the people's lives and those that give you the honor of serving. And that's so much what I look forward to doing. So day one, you're in office. If this becomes a reality for you, what mm -hmm. would you like to see? Um, what's your first task at hand? Well, my first task is to put our Congress and to put this country in a place where we never see uh, another government shutdown. For, this happens to be uh, the, uh, a year. It's been a year since our government was shut down, and it hurt so many people in this district. Uh, I was with some veterans recently. Uh, and they really, they really suffer. The commissary at Tyndall shut down. They really depend on the commissary at Tyndall to make ends meet. 
Uh, it created an even additional further backlog at, at the VA with people that are looking for medical services. So it all comes down to a commitment by those in Congress to avoid ever having another government shutdown and being able to work together to make sure uh, that we have a functional government and one that is willing to work together uh, in the best interest of the people that elect us. All right. Well, Gwen Graham, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule on the campaign trail to join us. We hope to have you back on the program. And to our viewers, we'll catch you next time.